Electoral Amendment Bill Third Reading. Call on Government Order of the Day Number Two. Victims' Orders Against Violent Offenders Bill Interrupted Debate on Second Reading. Members, when the House was last debating the Victims' Orders Against Violent Offenders Bill, Mark Mitchell had the call. He has nine minutes remaining. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Mark Mitchell. I don't know if I'll use the full nine minutes, but uh, thank you for reminding me, Mr Speaker. Um, when I last spoke on this bill, Mr Speaker, I was acknowledging uh, the Chair of the Law and Order Select Committee, Jackie Dean, who is a very, very good Chair of the Committee. We work well as a committee. I noticed that uh, Mr Goff, uh, when he took his call, it sounded like it was an um, individual sport. It's not. Um, it's been a real team effort. So I'd like to acknowledge all the members of the uh, Law and Order Select Committee. Uh, it is a very important bill, and um, I just want to refer back to the last time the Select Committee sat. We um, were hearing submissions, but it was actually about um, uh, parole hearings. And we had a young lady that appeared in front of the committee uh, who had been subjected to a, a very serious, violent um, domestic assault. And the offender in this case was, um, was still in prison, but she felt the stress even thinking about having to appear at a parole hearing. And so how that folds into these uh, non-contact orders is that the amount of stress placed on victims when they know that there's even a possibility that they could come in contact or run into uh, the offender or the person responsible for the attack on them. And so uh, we were very, very pleased as a committee to work on this bill. Um, I'd just like to mention, I won't mention all the main provisions, but I'd like to go through just a couple that uh, really are the guts of the bill. Uh, the bill establishes a mechanism for a victim of a violent offence, including offences of a sexual nature, to obtain a non-contact order against the offender in any case where the offender has been convicted of the offence and sentenced to imprisonment for two years or more. And we had a fair bit of debate in the committee about this. Originally it wasn't two years and we actually brought it back and, and brought it in line with other related legislation at two years, which I think was a, um, a very, very good change. So, Mr Speaker, I'm very, very happy to uh, commend this bill to the House. Thank you. Dennis O'Rourke. 